Hi guys, it's Candy here. Welcome to my channel. This is a video about blog content photography. So I recently did a shoot with Nicole Nelgates. I've done quite a few blog content shoots with her and other bloggers. I'll put some links up somewhere or even in the description below. Um, when it comes to content photography, it's very much the direction of the blogger that you're going in. They often style it. They will ask for your advice, but they often already have the location and the aesthetic that they want to go for. Um, they will also put their own spin on their imagery. So just be aware if you're not comfortable with people perhaps altering your images you might you might want to rethink doing blog content not everybody's like that but there are some that do that so when it comes to blog content photography you've got to think more about where you're actually going to have that imagery so in nicole's case a lot of it is largely on instagram so we use the portrait orientation for our images a lot mostly if it goes on to blog we might swap over with a few for landscape but mostly we stick to portrait um she has to be quite large in the space that she's in mainly because that's all about what it's about so uh, there is not like tiny backgrounds, uh, sorry, tiny pictures of her in a big background. It's very much instantly recognisable as Nicole. Um, so this one was at a pumpkin patch. We were in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> it was a farm called Overstone Grange Farm. It's amazing. It's, a, it's a very much a bloggers haven, I will say. They also have a sunflower field that they open. Um, I haven't been there before, but it was really nice to go there and see the pumpkin patch. We had exclusive um, use of the pumpkin patch. There was another photo shoot going on elsewhere, but we pretty much had it all to ourselves. We got to run around and pick up the pumpkins. Um, just remember to dress well for it. I stupidly wore some chunky boots, which perhaps weren't the best shoes, but it's fine. It was very windswept and the sun was really harsh, so we had to work with the sun. Um, I tend to use, when I do blogger content, tends to be 24 to 70 mil, uh, 50, occasionally 35, and often an 85. I don't, it sounds like a real broad spectrum of it. 24 to 70 is like the one that is always my go-to, but if I really want that shallow depth of field, I whack on one of my prime lenses. A lot of this shoot was actually done on the 50 mil, um, and I did put on at the sort of uh, the Omni filter for some little bits of filming here and there. Now, in terms of the poses, obviously I was working with the harsh sunlight, so I had to, I, I couldn't really have her facing it because it would make her quite blind and she'd be blinking and eyes watering, as it did happen a few times. But we did do this thing where we do the one, two, three, and eyes open. So you position them, close the eyes shut, one, two, three, as soon as it open, you click the shutter and then they close away. And But you can also do backlit, and then you can also do it so it's on the side, so you almost get like a Rembrandt. And it did help that every now and then there was a bit of cloud coverage, so you were able to do that. High shutter speed, um, close down aperture, so I was shooting anything from um, sort of 5.4 to, was it 5.4? <laughs> from um, right up to f11. Uh, there was a few shallow depth of fielder ones for some um, incidents with the pumpkin, where she's trying to take photos of the pumpkins. But given how, given how bright the light was, also, um, it just it just didn't lend itself for me in this instance that I used it that often. There was a few, I did, I think I got down to as low as 3.5 on some of them. But I really wanted to show the vastness of this pumpkin patch. I had to show that as well. Um, you will do, it's like, it sounds really weird, but um, a lot of the, you, with, with content photography, you're going to do a lot of imagery, probably for a set price or, or a, like a package deal that works best for clients. And you will, they will often tag you. Um, they're very aware of the, the aesthetics, the, the um, politeness of being tagged. Um, so I really do love working with bloggers. It's really good fun. Some of them need more... <laughs> some of them need more direction than others okay but that's not a bad thing you get to learn as well as you go along they're really friendly also they have a lot of readership and you might find that you get a lot of people from their readership that come onto your platform to look at you and i really appreciate that nicole's great to work with her's a comment um if you look in the description below there's all of her links there for you i hope you like this shoot don't forget to like and subscribe hit that bell button i'll see you all in the next video it's a nice way to earn a little bit of money during lockdown social distance was so easy on the pumpkin patch See you later. Bye.